One of the first tricks I remember seeing when I was a kid was a trick using three ropes. A magician came to my school and did this. And I thought, well, how cool would it be to show you tonight? And here's my twist on it, which also uses a solid ring, which we'll get to in a minute. But in the meantime, I want you to see I have three different lengths of rope. This is a small one. We'll call this one the, the medium one, as you can see. And then this one's really long. I think it's reeled it down below the camera. So I'm gonna bring the ends up one at a time. There's the small one, there's the medium one, and there's the long one. Now, when you do this, of course, the loops stagger down, but we can create the illusion they're the same size by tucking the long loop in my fist. Now they look the same size, three equal loops, six ends, but we can take the illusion even further, make them look exactly like they are the same size. There's that one that was small, there's the medium one, and then there's that long one, which is now shrunk down. So, you know what, we only have two eyes, but there's three ropes. So let's get rid of this one, just focus on these two ropes. So there's still four ends to follow, look. So we'll make that into one long piece of rope. Oh, now it's getting fun, right? So this is where this ring comes in handy, a solid ring, we'll tie, put this on here, and we'll tie this into a knot. Now, when I was at camp, when I was younger, we learned how to tie different kinds of knots. This is a very simple knot just tie it like that. So now that ring, as you can see, is trapped on the rope, but you just blow on the ring, look, it comes right off the rope. Now just for you, we're gonna put the ring right back through the rope. On the count of three, one, two, three, right through the rope, see? No, it's not what you expected, is it? No, we're actually gonna toss the ring and it's gonna land on the rope right about there. One, two, three, and it's trapped back on the rope. Now, of course, this is all an illusion, you know? Once you untie the knot, it's a very simple matter, that the ring could just come off right out through the ends. And wait, unless the ends come off, leaving us with an endless piece of rope. That's not something you see every day, is it? Now I do have the ends, they just became separated from the, from the rope. So if I drape those right back on, you could see, okay, now the ends come back off. Now I wanna try to get us back where we started. First of all, I need an imaginary pair of scissors to cut this one back into two pieces. So if I just grab in the air, Pick up this pair of scissors and cut that into two. <laughs> if I add this one from my fit, um, from my shoulder, that is now three. That's not exactly where we started. I think you recall in the beginning that these ropes were different sizes, right? So I'm gonna bring the ends up one at a time. You can see that there's three equal loops, six ends. Watch, one, two, three. Brings us exactly back where we started with one small, one medium, and one long piece of rope. Thank you so much for watching.